What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a mod video on something that I receive a lot of questions about and that is my tour pack and my mount. Now, if you're interested in a quick release tour pack, I'm sorry, this video is not for you. I keep my mount on all year and when I take my tour pack off, I replace it with a plate, which I'll show you later on in the video. Also, I am replacing my razor tour pack with a chop tour pack, so I don't have the full footage of from like beginning to end, but I always try my best to explain things as best as possible, so I will put clips of how you put the mounts on in the video. But just stay tuned and you'll see all of that. Let's go. This is the mount that I decided to go with. I'll put the link down in the description. Now there are other companies who make mounts for the Vaquero, but this is the one that I chose to go with. Now as far as the mount is concerned, you don't need any additional hardware. You're only going to need those two saddlebag bolts that are already on your bike. You're going to remove those bolts, slide your mount in between the saddlebag and your rear fender, and then replace those bolts and boom, your mount is up. Once the mounts are on there, it should look something like this. Now for the mount, you didn't need any additional hardware, but when you install the tour pack, you are gonna need some bolts, some nuts, and some washers. So remember I said that I'm actually replacing my razor tour pack with the chop tour pack. So here's where that process begins. I'm removing the bolts from the bottom of the tour pack. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you this process of how to put a tour pack on in just a second. But this is um, just me removing the one that's already on there. definitely recommend you having somebody help you with this process. I did this the first time by myself and the struggle was real. All right, so right here it probably looks like nothing's happening, but my dad is actually holding the tour pack in place and I'm checking it to make sure that it's lined up and in the right position. This tour pack does not come pre-drilled for a Vaquero tour pack mount because it is made for a Harley. With that being said, you have to drill four holes into the bottom of that tour pack. So while my dad was holding it, I got down and measured the four holes. Just take a marker, mark where the four holes are, and then that'll tell you exactly where you need to drill. So once those four holes have been drilled, I took four bolts and put them into those four holes and just screwed them all the way down where the head of the bolt was flushed with the tour pack. If I marked my mount points correctly, then this should just slide right into place. And then all I should have to do is put the bolts in. Ooh, there it is, marked it right. So this is the underside of the tour pack. Those four bolts that we just put on the inside of the tour pack we're now securing on the opposite side with nuts and washers and we also included a split lock washer for extra security. And we are done son, period. Quick intermission. So earlier in the video, you heard me say that I never take my mount off, but I do take my tour pack off and I replace it with a plate. Well, this is the plate that I was referring to right here at the same company that I got my mount from. Again, link will be in the description. <laughs> So now I'm showing you what I can actually fit into each one of these tour packs. My Razor tour pack did not come with the liner, so I was thugging it out. Please don't judge me. So first you're gonna see me put in my roadside bag, my tool kit, and my gloves. I can also fit my helmet, my water canteen, some snacks, and a battery pack. And of course you can see there's a little bit of extra space. I can also fit the backrest on my bike and I can close it. Now, obviously the chop tour pack is larger than the razor tour pack, but I just want to point out the height of each one. So the height of my chop tour pack is about 10.7 inches high, but the height of my razor tour pack is seven and a half inches high. So you're getting about three inches more room on top. The one item I could include in this tour pack that I couldn't in my razor tour pack was my bike cover, which is that orange piece that you see sticking out. 
and that's it voila as always thank you for rocking with me thank you for riding with me until next time for the next ride bye